Right now, my next guest is reported to have said of herself, when I'm doing something, I have to take it to the extreme. She certainly doesn't seem to believe in much moderation. She's an actress, having received praise for her roles in Conan the Destroyer and A View to a Kill, and is the voice behind hits like Pull Up to the Bumper, Night Clubbing, and all the rest. Will you welcome right now, Miss Grace Jones. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, Under, underdressed as ever. <laughs> I said, Mr. T, eat your heart out. You yes, yes. <laughs> Terrific outfit. How would you describe it for people listening to us on radio? Um, I think if I came on stage crawling and going, meow, 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 I think they would get an idea. I'd say I'm on all fours, right. you know, and uh, this is the sound. It's a bit sleek, uh, cat-like. Right. Very much the story of your life, actually, yes. You're, tour <laughs> you're touring the country at the moment yes. on your tour. When did you decide to be this exotic figure, Grace Jones, this androgynous, macho, attractive? When did you decide to be <laughs> larger than life? <laughs> when did I decide to be myself, really? Yeah. I think Are that's you, what is it this comes down to. Yeah. Yes, um, my family was very religious, a very strict Jamaican family, you know, with a very English colonial type of upbringing and school and all of that. And I realized after I left home that I was not myself. That was not me. I was living their life, what they wanted. And I wanted to discover first uh, about life and then decide what I wanted from life, what made me happy, what was easy for me. And so when you set out, were you just reacting, as you said, you had a strict childhood, uh, spare the rod, spoil the child, etc., yes. etc., all that, and at the same time they were religious. Is the whole rest of your life, do you think, just been a rebellion against your childhood? Um, no, it's funny because I use a lot of the things I learned in my childhood, I actually use on stage. I mean, a lot of the androgyny, for example. That, is, it, it's funny because I thought I hated my step-grandfather, you know, and it's funny because my whole stage act, I am actually doing him. Yeah. So it, it's it, as if I turned it around, you know, and uh, found that I was playing him, his strictness, that, that I see that coldness, that, that if a look could kill kind of thing. And I was playing him, and it's funny that I chose to play him rather than my grandmother, who was so sweet totally the opposite and and i chose to show that side but were you playing him the strict guy the strict stepfather or were you partially reacting Rebelling? against him in the sense of trying to be both male and female were you trying to make male female roles different to what most of us understand them as well i, I think that i was so frightened of that male domination as a little girl that i just set out to be more male than than the male <laughs> yes. I thought I would be my own father, my own lover, my own, you know, I would be all those things in a man that, that uh, I didn't get from a man. Right. You, you know, you, <laughs> does that make sense? It makes good sense. <laughs> you, you, you wanted to be self-sufficient. Yes, yes. And um, I found that being too self-sufficient also was not good for the female side because then I was always wearing the pants in my, on all my relationships, you know? I had no self-love, it's true. <laughs> and, and I mean, what sort of, therefore, when you have to fulfill a purely female role, like as a mother, for instance, Paolo yes. is how old? Paolo is 10 now. 10 now, yes. I mean, that's a female, what sort of a mother are you? Oh, I am like an Auntie Mame kind of a mother. I think if I were to do Auntie Mame, the version, you know, I mean, I think it would be, that's what his father told me. He, he said, well, Grace, I've heard you, and Paulo, you had him on stage, and he was dancing with you. 
and look at you. I showed him a picture with uh, an outfit from Gaultier that I wore on TV, and it had my whole ass was exposed, you know. And he said, this is the mother of my child. And he was outraged, but then he, he, he had a grin, you know, and uh, he thought, well, it actually did look good and uh, as an artist's point of view. <laughs> and he said, no, you really, I guess you're the Auntie Mame. You're the modern-day Auntie Mame, you know. And so... Are you strict <laughs> yourself as a parent, or are you I deliberately not strict? It's hard for me to strict? be strict. I, I'm the opposite. I've never hit him. I can't yell at him. You know, it takes me an hour just to get him into bed. Like, come on, honey. You know, come on. Let's, it, it, it's a scene, and he goes, um, 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 <laughs> and I'm there, you know, and it's like, oh God, I wish I could just say, yeah. get up now. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but you only do that on stage. <laughs> only, on only on stage. stage. <laughs> only with audiences. It's not funny, with an, isn't not it? with an audience of one. Yeah, it's funny. I think that that <laughs> that other side. I think now is finally I have confidence in it. I I no longer consider softness to be a weakness. I think that was the problem. Yeah. I thought being soft and sweet was a weakness. So I decided I didn't want that side. But now I find that. Actually, it's quite powerful uh, to be feminine. I think it's uh, women are realizing that more than ever, that whole uh, thing about women's lib. I think there's a moment where it works, but then there's another moment where you have to go, you know, and kind of seduce in a different, yeah. in a feminine way. And um, I'm enjoying that now. Oh, that's a great, I think very that's interesting development, because we don't read that in interviews about you. That's very interesting. You've come to yes. terms with that. Yes. That, that you can be soft in that way without being weak. But, you know, exactly, exactly. You now, know. the other thing that we, one reads about you, two different things, $120,000 bill from American Express and the $10,000... Well, it was for, more than that. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the pound's gone down, so maybe that's affected the It figure. was a lot more than that. <laughs> Go on. But are you... So, are you very extravagant? Yes, are I Are you am. the Imelda Marcos of New York? Oh, well, God. no, she is at the moment, but anyway... She's in New York being tried at the moment, isn't she? But are you, in fact, extravagant, yes. or are you actually short of a buck? No, actually, I'm terrible. Once I see something I want, I have to have it. I'm better off hibernating, not looking in any store windows or in any magazines. I can't... If Once I look and I see that, and it's, it's funny, working with fashion designers and working as a model for so many years before I actually started singing and acting, they spoiled me. They literally spoiled me. You know, you saw so many beautiful clothes, and it, it just got in my blood. I think you go one way or the other. Either you wear the same outfit all the time, you know, blue jeans and a shirt, or you go the opposite. You, you want 10,000 pairs of shoes. I mean, I've never counted them, but I've got zillions of, of, of just shoes and, and designer clothing and and they just want to give them all to me so i'm terrible well, that's great it's american give... express i mean come on i was depressed first of all when i had the card I, I got very depressed and i just said okay the best thing for depression for a woman is to go out and shop and uh, i thought i had them it's true i thought i had the money there <laughs> actually and 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 afterwards i found my accountant had stolen all of my money so then i had no money to pay them back so i thought oh, oh dear oh dear well so if at the end of this tour what would you most like to spend the money that you've earned on what would you spend it on more shoes no i would like to um buy my apartment in paris that's that's logical isn't it that's logical <laughs> so you're coming back to roots this is grace jones coming yes. back to roots prepared to be soft and feminine being a Using my sex. Gentle, using your sex, yes. well, I take that for granted. <laughs> a, uh, a gentle mother and wanting a home in Paris. Well, we wish you them all. Thank you for being with us, Thank you. Great. Also, I want to mention I do have a record out, but I'm singing some of the tracks while I'm on tour. All right. And it's What's fun. it called? What's it called? Bulletproof Heart. All right. Well, that's a song for Britain rather than a song for Europe. Thank you very <laughs> much indeed, Grace. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Grace Jones. <laughs> the, uh...